He took the job here at Auburn. Me not even knowing what Auburn was, to be quite honest. Um, I told him I'll come on a visit and um, came down on a visit, not even knowing it was in Alabama. I thought it was in Georgia. Um, landed um, and uh, told him it was in Alabama. My grandfather told me I don't know about Alabama. <laughs> so it was it was a heck of a deal, man, and um, it, was, it was great for us, man. And I loved it. I came down on my visit, and I got the feeling that we talked to the recruits about. You know, I got that funny, tingly feeling in my heart that this is the place for me. And um, all my other buddies was going to Miami, Andre Johnson, Little Room, and all those guys. And um, was trying to get me to go with them there. And um, I just knew this was the place for me. And like I tell the guys, man, ain't a four year decision, it's a 40 year decision. And if I would have went to Miami, I probably wouldn't be coaching right now. I dang sure probably wouldn't be at um, Auburn University coaching. So when you start to look at that, it was a great decision for me. When you, uh, when you talk to your players, I mean, it took you it took you a while to find your place. I mean, from receiver to cornerback to safety. Uh, do you talk to them about that? About the, the, sometimes, right. you know, sometimes you have to. You, you, it, it takes a while. That's right, man. That's that's life. You know, trials and tribulations. Came as a receiver, um, then moved me to corner, um, then got hurt my junior year, and then didn't really get a. A great opportunity to my senior year when Coach Hughes came and was the coordinator and um, moved me to safety and was all SEC and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, just, but I always played really good on special teams. I was always a good dude in the community. And, um, and that's the one thing that I tell them, man. Hey, being cool ain't cool no more. Nobody care about a cool guy. So they just want you to be a good guy. You know what I mean? And we can have a bunch of good guys around here that's doing the right thing and handling their business in the right way in a first class manner, then we're going to be fine.